Hey, this is Time Bomb. If it's your first time checking out the channel, hit that subscribe button to help me get to 1,000 subscribers. Thanks a lot for joining me today. I'm doing another episode of my series, Breaking All Coverages, Beating All Coverages. I think I've changed the name. Right now I'm going to decide. It's called Beating All Coverages. That's the name of this series. It might be episode six. I might be mistaken. The title will tell you that. So let's get into it. This one, I'm doing a breakdown on sea routes, which, you know, I don't haven't seen too many videos about them and how they're working this year. So this play I'm I'm doing is the uh, wide receiver corners out of the, the Bills playbook and the gun split formation. You can do this kind of thing in any setup with three wide receivers that has, you know, sea routes on either side. There's a lot of, of, of different routes like that in the game. So the way that I do it is I just block everyone. So you got seven block in here, and I'm gonna put uh, Ridley into a drag. I'm gonna start this off against a cover four defense. We'll just show against the hard flats. So you should, so the whole idea is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna motion this C route over to the other side of the field. He's gonna, Senu, Senior, Senu? Probably saying that wrong. He's gonna motion over to the slot on the other side. So I'm gonna have these two C routes running together, right? So if someone's running cover four, you just gotta give it that little development, and then boom, you're gonna be able to find him right over the middle of the field that simply. This is against clouds, uh, cloud flats, or hard flats. Either way, you're gonna be able to, to find this. And even if you don't like it, you can always check down to the A receiver here on the right side of the field. You can always just check it down to him um, against a cloud flat because they'll be backing up. He'll have lots of room to get like at least five yards for you. CB coming over the middle there as he's covered. Oh, we're gonna take the sack. I should have thrown it to X in that seat. When I am rolling over to the side here, X is gonna get open if uh, there's the coverage on. I think I forgot to uh, actually put them into cover four at that time. All right, so X is over there. Yeah, this is against Cloud Flats. You can just fit it in right there. Ah, oh, it was a little tight. But you can see there's a little window there for that road developing. And now we're going to show the X route against this uh, Cloud Flat here. And right to the cover four, we've got Cloud Flats we're going to go against. And you'll see when I roll out the left side of the field, I should be able to hit X a little bit later if I get the development and I get the blocking we need here. See, X is going to get over there. And the coverage is going to drop down on him and be able to just hit him up there. See the way that, that that coverage just drops down once the drag gets to that side of the field? That's when you've got a little bit of a window that you can hit X there against the cover four. Or you can just, you know, throw down to the drag when it's in the middle of the field as well. You're just seeing that everything's covered there. So let's take a look against uh, cover three now. So if I know that my opponent's setting cover three, uh, then what I'm gonna do is leave that A on that street, because that's gonna pull uh, the coverage downfield. Those are gonna, be your, are gonna be your pull route, and then this B, C route, is gonna get wide open on the right side of the field. As long as you get the blocking so that this play can develop, you're gonna be able to boom, just Start them up with that. So they've got to basically, they have to use that road if they want to stop it because you're going to be able to just get that road open all the time against clouds or hard flats. So you're going to kill cover three with these with these uh, sea roads coming. And th it's just going to be weird the way that it breaks too because they're not expecting you to motion over a sea road and then let it develop to throw to it. So you're going to be able to burn a lot of coverages with that. Uh, sorry, a lot of co any cover three you're going to be able to burn with that. So let's take a look though against cover two, which you know, you've basically got the same kind of principles, actually. If you let that develop, again, the same thing, the B route is gonna get open, but you're also gonna be able to throw the B route over the middle of the field, and you can uh, leave Ridley on that streak, or you can put him on the draw, and then, you know, you've got a couple options here. Let's take a look as I read through. So see, they're pulling, hey, getting decent, oh, I, threw that. I didn't mean to throw it low like that. If you throw it low, you gotta kind of split those two defenders. I meant to, I don't know, I threw that wrong right there. Let me try that again. So we're going against the cover two. We're gonna leave him on the, on the, what's going on? Oh, okay, he's on the streak. We're gonna cover two. Oh shoot, I forgot to motion him. 
<laughs> not making this happen too well. But uh, there's another way you can not motion and throw your C road against the cover too there. Uh, leave him a streak, get them into cover two, motion him over. So we should have a couple windows that we can throw to B. Right here, as he breaks, you can get him. Wow. You need to lead that a little bit, but you can see there's a lot of space there against it. And then also, if you want to let it develop, then you can get it in as well. You just need good blocking. Let me go. Oh, God. Ah! <laughs> Throw another run's not going to work, time bomb. Sometimes they just get such crazy shits. Okay, so you see B getting open. Oh no, I threw it too deep again. Almost comes up with the catch too. I needed to just, why, why can't I just lead that properly? Here we go. All right, getting the blocking we need. You could throw it right there, but I'm trying to just show you here that this play, see it will fit in against the cover too so easily. I don't know why I was struggling to do that, but that's all you have to do. As long as you get the blocking, Again, you can use that same beater, letting it develop over there. And I believe against cover two, the X route, let's say you're pulling the draw against it, this should uh, also pull down your cloud on that left side of the field, so you should be able to throw X as well. He should get open over the cloud. Oh wow, that pressure is gonna get in there. Oh, we're able to beat it. <laughs> Doing it that much time, you can find X. I don't like that. I'd rather check it down to A in that situation. That was just crazy how the heat got in there. So let's show it against a couple of different blitzes too. I've got the, here's the edge blitz, which is pretty uh, meta. What are people doing? We're clouding it, putting contains on, moving him down, maybe showing blitz. You know, just really, really making it tough on you, having him in there. Something like this. Pinch the pinch the line. Yeah, we'll pinch pinch the line. Really. Not pinching the line for me? Why would I pinch the line? It's really dumb. Okay, something like that though is uh, against it. So, you know, the same idea applies here though. It's a, it's a blitz, but you've got basically your B road's gonna get open over the middle of the field. He's sending too many, too many men at you. You recognize that heat coming, kind of get over here, and I mess it up because I didn't throw it for whatever reason. But you can see there was a big window at least there to be able to throw it. Did I put him? You've also got A coming over on the blitz. Sorry, we've also got A coming over on the drag, so you can check it down to him as well if you can recognize that the blitz is coming. Contains on there. Let's do something like this here. B. Boom, you recognize that he's over and you can beat that blitz just like that. So that's one of the popular blitz, the edge blitz. You, see, you just gotta use the same principles. Check it down to the drag if you need to. Hit B over the middle with a little low point pass there once it breaks. And then another popular one is the buck blitz where the heat's gonna come right over the middle. We'll put them into cloud flats here. Go into the cover three, buck buzz, cloud flats, show blitz, come up, contains. Okay, block everybody, put them on a drag. A little tight window, but you see, you try to throw it in there. Check it down to A as well if you need to. You don't want to try to fit that in. I had the time that time, then, so it felt right. It felt right to do. Cloud show blitz, contain blitz. Just, uh... Oh, I put A on the streak there. Got B wide open there this time. So you can see, you can find it. It just you know hit and miss like any time, like uh, like the like the way that the game goes. Um, when those blitzes come, they might get, those sheds might get in there, and you won't have the time to let a, a route like that develop. So you just have to check it down to A. But then, if you do get the time, you should be able to let it develop and go deep. That pull route is going to help you out. Anytime you leave that A route on the streak, it's going to help you beat all these different, you know, blitzes and coverages because it's going to pull that secondary deep with him, and then it's going to give you a bigger window for that B C route coming across the field. So this is a play that I've been using a fair bit, mixing in, I'm already using this formation, so it just adds another play, another look, another weapon, another way to attack my opponent. So try this play out, get used to it, let me know how these C routes are working for you. I'll be back with another uh, episode of Breaking All Coverages. I messed it up again. Beating All Coverages. I've been Time Bomb. 
hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Help me get to 1,000 subscribers. You guys have been awesome, and I'll catch you later.